You've been covering technology since 1976, 1977, and how have the way in which PR professionals pitch you changed, and what, what works and what doesn't work in the new media? It's really pretty interesting. Uh, uh, let's see, so, you know, I used to get more than a crate, you know, one of these big mail crates a week of mail. And and so a couple of things have changed. There was a, a point in time when I was the only New York Times reporter, you know, full-time reporter, was technology writer in Silicon Valley, and so I got everything in the Valley. And it was all paper mail, and there was a lot of uh, stuff that I threw out. And uh, I remember once Wagner Edstrom um, came to me and they said, you know, we want to train our folks. Will you give us a sample of your mail for a week? And um, so I gave them one of those tubs, and they took it away, and they did whatever they did with it. And I think four years went by, or maybe it was three years, and then I got this really kind of freaked out and embarrassed phone call from Wagner Edstrom because they discovered my mail in a cabinet in their, <laughs> in their <laughs> office, and they didn't know why it was there. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's really quite remarkable. Mail, paper mail from PR people have has entirely gone away. I mean, do I get one or two things a week, maybe three? It's actually kind of novel now. It's a, you know I enjoy getting paper mail, and it's such a rare, uh, a rare experience. I even sometimes see blind pitches where people will handwrite them, which I think is really quaint and sweet. Um, mail, of course, as everybody's already noted, is broken, um, and so uh, it's it's relationships that make a difference. You know, uh, you know, you you build up a working relationship with a with a public relations person over time, and you learn to trust them, and you learn to trust their judgment about what you're interested in. And uh, I, I do see people who sort of try to break in with me new, who, who sort of give it a, a, you know, college try to sort of appear like they've looked at what I write about. And, you know, that, that sort of um, out of left field stuff, it actually doesn't work very well either. Um, uh, people will call me sometimes and they'll say, um, what are you what are you writing about? And I, I find that to be kind of invasive, and so I'll politely say that you know that's not something I share as a rule. Um, I, and you know the the rise of social media is 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 clearly a, f a factor. I I think you know things are going to have to sort themselves out. It's not clear to me that um, institutions like the Times are dead and will go away. We're going to have to cross some chasm. I think there's a reasonable chance the Times may make it. Um, you know, there's a there's a value we play in the world, and that's as a filter for our readers. And uh, we were just talking about the fact that, um, you know, there are technologies like RSS feeds, and you know, I see those as an analog for what used to be called the wires. Now the wires have been exposed to the general population. I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. Um, you were telling me about Robert Scoble and his ability to read thousands of, of uh, wires, uh, to follow thousands of, of RSS feeds simultaneously. And all I can think of is John Henry and the jackhammer. You know, I mean, the poor bastard. Um, I feel sorry for him. And I think that, you know, at some point somebody might create some agent technology uh, that actually would, you know, give you the things that are both serendipitously interesting to you and useful to you, but nobody has done it, done it yet. It really is quite striking to me that that that's still, uh, you know, it's a crying need that hasn't been solved by technology. As a matter of fact, technology has made it demonstrably worse. Uh, so I, uh, you know, I'm I'm not one of those reporters who's anti PR. I, you know, uh, um, an intelligent uh, PR person is something to die for. Um, and I, you know, I value working for them. Uh, in terms of working with PR people at companies, um, you know, a, a public relations person who can get you to um, an executive of the company on deadline is the best thing that you've got going for you. So you know, it's a, it's a balance, and and you know, part of my role as a reporter is to protect my readers from, you know, sort of the, the fire hose of public relations, and then, so there's always going to be attention. That's a great answer, and I think you just set yourself up for a lot of uh, postal mail. Thank you so much, John. Take care.